Welcome to Furniture Wizard. Before you can start adding inventory to your Furniture Wizard program, you must enter in your suppliers. To do so, from the main screen, click on Additional Features, then click on Suppliers. Click the New button in the lower left corner. Enter in the supplier's name. We do suggest that you enter in all of the information for the supplier form. It will be useful later in the program. So we're going to add the rest of our information now. Program automatically deals with formatting for you, so you don't have to worry about upper or lower case. The first and last name field is used for your contact at the factory. We have a separate area where you can enter in the sales representative for the supplier. The tag code field is an optional field that you can use to hide the name of the supplier. In some cases, you may have your favorite supplier and you do not want to divulge that company's name on an invoice or a price tag. By entering in a code in the tag code field and by setting the preferences properly in Furniture Wizard, the supplier's name will not appear on either the tags or the sales orders. So we're going to enter in a code for Julian Design, and we're going to call this JD200. Terms, account number, FOB are all optional, as are freight and discount. Many companies have pretty much an average freight percentage that they charge and it's simpler to enter in the freight percentage here at the supplier level than trying to calculate it item by item when you're receiving inventory. So we're going to enter in a 12% freight charge. Not going to worry about discount. The retail percentage is the markup, the percentage of profit calculated from the cost of the item. If you have an item that costs you $100 and you sell it for $200, that is a 100% markup and a 50% gross margin. We're going to enter in 100% here. The regular percentage is if you wish to use a suggested list price, manufacturer,